uh, you see this specimen. This is actually not single specimen. There are three specimens are there. Heart is there. Then below liver is there, and in between diaphragm is there. And on each side there are two lungs. One lung this side and one lung in this side. There are two lungs. Then you are thinking which specimen I am going to show you, heart or diaphragm or liver. You may be confused. Uh, I already uh, posted one video on uh, heart, so I will not show you the heart now. The next part is the diaphragm. I am going to show you how to hold the diaphragm in anatomical position and what are its main uh, openings or major openings. So from this, you might be understanding that the below diaphragm is the abdominal cavity. The liver is a part of the abdominal cavity and above diaphragm is the thorax where you will get the heart in the mediastinum and lung on each side, one on this side and one on this side. So what is diaphragm? It is a musculotendinous partition between the abdominal cavity below and thoracic cavity above. So which part is upper surface and which part is lower surface, how to identify? And one surface you see this is the and one fibrous structure that is called fibrous pericardium. So pericardium means is the covering of the heart. So heart is there. This is the heart. So it covers the heart. So this is pericardium. So that surface should be directed on the from the superior surface. And the pericardium is attached with the central part of the diaphragm or called central tendon of the diaphragm. Because both the structures, central tendon of diaphragm and fibrous pericardium, they are developed from the same source. That source is the septum transversum, which is the secondary mesoderm. It is frequently asked in the examination. Why this is attached here? Because both these structures are developed from septum transversum of secondary mesoderm. That will be your answer. So it is upwards or superior surface. So this surface should be inferior surface, the opposite surface. And right and left, how do you identify? On the right side, there is one opening is there. The wall is very thin and it is inside the central tendon of the diaphragm. That opening is for the inferior vena cava, called vena cava opening. So this opening will be within the central tendon or tendinous part of the diaphragm. And this part is the tubular part and it is soft. It is also having one lumen, this lumen. This is the esophagus. So this opening through the diaphragm is the esophageal opening through which the esophagus comes into the abdominal side. So this esophageal opening will be in the muscular part of the diaphragm, not in the central tendinous part and it will be on the left side. If you see these two structures, the vena cava opening here and the esophageal opening, one is right, one is left. So left should be the esophagus and right should be the inferior vena cava and it will be in the central tendon it will be in the muscular part. So this is right side, this is left side. And anterior posterior, how will you identify? Posteriorly, there are two class of diaphragm is there. One right class, one left class. Class means leg. As if the diaphragm, it is standing on two legs. If uh, myself is a diaphragm, and if I bend like this, my two legs are two class. Here also, the diaphragm having two class, right class and left class, or right leg and left leg, and that is attached to the vertebral column. And these two cross again interconnected by one ligament or median arcuate ligament. And behind this ligament, you will get the aorta. This is the aorta. The thoracic aorta, part above the diaphragm, and then abdominal aorta below the diaphragm. And behind it is the vertebral column. So this opening bounded posteriorly by the anterior surface of the body of the T12 thoracic vertebra on each side by the two cross and anteriorly by the median arcuate ligament. So actually this opening or aortic opening it is behind the diaphragm. So it is not an actual opening of the diaphragm. So how to hold? Now we, we know the anterior posterior, right, left and upper lower. If I hold it, so the dome of the uh, diaphragm on the right side will be at a upper level. The summit of the diaphragm is called the cupola of the diaphragm. So right cupola will be at a higher level than the left cupola 
and the in the middle part a concave part concavity due to the position of the heart heart is here here so middle part will be depressed so now i hold the diaphragm separately i make a fist here by right hand this is a diaphragm and make a fist of the left hand so this is a diaphragm so this is at the higher level at a lower level and middle part is depressed part because of the position of the heart so convex concave again convex but this convexity is more than this convexity so this is the anatomical position of the diaphragm and after holding you are asked uh, what are the major openings of the diaphragm there are three major openings i already have shown you the vena cava opening esophageal opening and aortic opening what are the structures passing through the this vena cava opening the inferior vena cava along with the right phrenic nerves or its branches and some limb vessels what are the structures passing through this the esophageal opening esophagus number 1 then right vagus nerve left vagus nerve the left gastric artery and some limb vessels and lastly the phrenico esophageal ligament and though the aortic opening is not a part of the diaphragm inside still the questions are asked structures passing through the aortic opening the aorta then ajagas vein and the cisterna cali which become thoracic duct in the thorax so these are the usual questions are asked and you have to hold the diaphragm in this way please click on the like button and of course subscribe it and share to your friends thank you